guys, so I finished class and I'm here with Alicia studying some fundamentals. It's our fundamentals of nursing book. We got some flashcards about contact precautions and whatnot. Say hi to the vlog. Hey. hey. First week in nursing school done. Done. <laughs> How stressed are you? Stress, so much information, <laughs> literally so much. Like we went through four lectures and my mind is blown. Yeah. And how long were we there every day? <laughs> well, today wasn't that bad. Today wasn't bad, but Tuesday we were there for like seven hours. Yeah, or that more. Was what was that? Eight thirty to five, five. And then we didn't have anything Wednesday. Right. But Monday was eight to twelve. Twelve. And then today was mm -hmm. nine to one. Yeah. Or so. Mm hmm Yeah, so next week's gonna be more crazy. Yeah, and it's a lot of material already, so. Yes. Yes. But we're going to do it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> so, I just got finished um, getting my lab binder together with all of the documents that we're going to need at my first lab tomorrow. I get to wear my nursing school uniform for the first time tomorrow. <laughs> so excited um about that um but yeah I spent the evening doing that and um trying to catch up to finish my microbiology class that I didn't get to finish over the summer so I'm trying to do that and get that done like ASAP so I can just focus on nursing school because it's so much already um I had my first mental breakdown <laughs> already um just because it's so much um but all of my instructors are wonderful and seem like they're going to be really helpful I love my lab and clinical group everyone's been super nice it's nice going in there already knowing someone uh Alicia that you've met before uh, but spent the evening so before a lab we have to um, you know, watch videos and do some quizzes and they weren't long. It was just a lot of them. So our first lab is tomorrow. It's going to be on, um, aseptic, aseptic technique, um, medical asepsis, surgical asepsis, the donning and doffing of PPE, sterile gloves, um, what else? Hand washing, of course. And um, and then we'll ha be having like a couple health assessment labs coming up, but the first one is on aseptic technique. So yeah, <laughs> um, so I watched the videos that they provided to us, but then of course I'm like going on YouTube for other resources on all of that. I'm hoping we can take pictures tomorrow. We'll see. Um, if I can record or take pictures or anything, I will certainly let you guys just take a quick sneak peek. Um, but they seem really big on not even allowing like the recording of lectures. So I may not be able to, so I'm sorry, <laughs> um, if I can't, but just wanted to let you guys know that it's like probably almost 1am because it took me so long to finish these quizzes because like the website like wasn't like loading and kept crashing and then was telling me oh you know you're logged in, in too many places and I'm like no I'm not <laughs> I'm only logged in right here right now so a word of advice get as much done as you can beforehand not the night before um I didn't know that this was something we had to do until today um so but I got my new printer set up I finally got a printer of my own yay so um I can print things like on emergency basis if I need to or just like small things and then print the larger um, items like at school save me some cash money honey um so yeah it's just been a lot going on we've had uh, five lectures so far so we've covered uh, the nursing process so ad pie um, We've covered documenting and reporting, like including SBAR. We've covered cultural diversity, aseptic technique, um, 
What else? We started our health assessment lecture, but they called it like general survey or something. So you take like a 10 second general survey as you're walking to the patient's room, introducing yourself, you know, subjective, objective data, what you're gathering, all those kinds of things. So um, this semester I'm taking nursing fundamentals and health assessment, and then, you know, our lab and clinical for both. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to drink some more water, take my vitamins and go to bed. Luckily, I don't have to be in until 1030 tomorrow. So I get to sleep in a little bit and miss some of that uh, early morning traffic because that's been a struggle too. I've been really working on time management. I've been doing really well with it. So I'm happy about it, but it's definitely been hard with, you know, not only college kids going back to school, but elementary, middle school, high school, all of that people, you know, back to work now with COVID and stuff. So, but yeah, so I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. So, I'm getting ready to get ready for my first day of lab. Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, today is my first lab day. I'm all dressed in my uniform. So excited to wear it for the first time. Um, I was very emotional this morning just because, and last night too, just because I miss my grandmother so much and I know she's watching me, but I wish she was here to actually like, you know, sh you know, sharing the experience with me in the physical, in a physical way, you know, me getting ready in the morning and like all of that. So, um, sorry. <laughs> um, I basically, for me, uniforms are like a thing. Like I've always worn a uniform. I went to Catholic school, wore a uniform from first grade all the way through high school, you know, working in healthcare, wearing uniform there, you know, now back in college and putting on a new uniform for the first time. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Um, it's just been a very emotional week for me because I wish she was here to see this. And, you know, I remember being in elementary school and she would lay out my uniforms for me in the morning because I lived with my grandmother pretty much my whole life. And, uh, well, yeah, my entire life. And I uh, just thinking about that and then thinking about today. But I wouldn't be in this uniform if it wasn't for her. So I'm sorry for being so like emotional. Uh, <laughs> but really excited. Sorry, the skin on my hands is so dry. Like I forgot to put lotion on my hands. I forgot to put lotion on my face. I didn't leave in the time that I wanted to leave because I wanted to stop and get coffee, but now I can't stop and get coffee. So I've got my little premier protein cafe latte, protein shake so I can have a little caffeine. Um, I did have bariatric surgery um, before, well, over the summer. So, but I've always drank you know, premier protein shakes and whatnot. So, but I'll talk about that part of everything, you know, a little, a little later. I need to clean my car. My car is filthy. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my way to school. Lab starts at 10 30. It's 10 01. So I should be there by 10 24 to then get in there. And then we have a, like a five minute grace period before we're late. So hopefully that'll be plenty of time for me to park and get upstairs for lab. So we had to bring um, our lab bags and our clinical bags. So um, our sim lab bags and our clinical bags, whatever. Um, they're both in the trunk of my car. So yeah, I'll see you uh, with Alicia when we get to school. Bye. So hi. First day of lab. First day of lab. So what did you think? It was good. It was um, really fast. It was. 
definitely need to practice more so we can be comfortable with it. Yes. But we can do it. We can do it. So we were practicing putting on our PPE. Sterile gloves. Sterile gloves. Sterile drapes. Um, technique thingy. Yeah, aseptic technique hand washing with sanitizer. Yeah. Oh, we didn't do regular hand washing. We were supposed to today. I thought so. Yeah. Huh. Well. I mean, I feel like that's self-explanatory. I know. It's like, wash your hands, sing happy birthday, okay. don't be in... Paper towel. Uh, yeah. yeah. Literally. Yeah. But it was so good. Yay. Yay! Glad. Yes. Okay, so I'm just leaving Staples. I am headed home now. I had to get... Um, some binders. I had to get two binders and some tabs for our, like ATI. We need an ATI binder and I wanted to redo my lab binder. Um, and then that way I'll just have an extra binder just in case. And I got some tabs and some folders and just like basic stuff like that. Um, Cause I kind of wanted to hold off to see what I would need or how I would want to do everything. Um, because I am using my iPad for school, trying to, you know, be a paperless student. Um, oh my God, this zit won't go away. I hate it, it looks so bad. Um, but I wanted to be a paperless student, um, but you know, I there are gonna be documents and things I'm gonna need to print and handwrite, so I'll have it for that. Um, so yeah, now I'm about to head home, um, do some micro, maybe I'll get some coffee. Do I want Starbucks? Kinda, kinda want Starbucks. I don't want a pumpkin spice latte, y'all. Tis the season. Oh, also found out our first competency <laughs> is on my birthday. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And then um, for Halloween, we have class literally all day to like 4.30. It's going to be a long day for Halloween. So like, I love my birthday. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. I'm definitely, you know, an October baby Scorpio all the way. So I'm a little disappointed about that, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. It's a lot of material to cover in like a short amount of time. So I understand, but still it's a bummer. Um, so I am just driving home and see if I get Starbucks. Do I really want Starbucks? I need some coffee to get going. I think it's a rainy, gross, Day and I got to try to catch up on micro as much as possible and continue working on putting all of the dates for the semester in my Google Calendar and in my planner. Um, I wish, you know, I had, you know, gotten that done a little bit earlier, but hey, it's a learning curve. Um, and just like I have so much on my plate right now too, like in addition to um, the nursing program, so. You know, I had a lot of things I was trying to get together and like with work and everything. So, but we'll get to it. And I would like to try to study some of the things we did in open lab today, um, but we'll see. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes, but it's 2.09 now. Um, so I had to be at class at 10.30 and I'm finally on my way home after stopping at Staples. So see you guys at home. Okay, y'all, so I have secured the magic beans, the magical bean juice. I had to also stop and pick up some prescriptions. And now we are headed home. So this is my lab binder. I actually ended up redoing it. Um, so then this is our scenarios for nursing process lab practice, which we're having tomorrow. And then I've got some like skills check off sheets here. And then what else do I got in here? Some common um, medical terminology. What else, what else? I've got our Nanda nursing diagnosis sheet. So that goes over all of that. And then we've got some, our columnar care plans, which we've been working on. Okay. And then I've got SBAR stuff in there. And then we get into the DocuCare uh, stuff with Lip and Cut. So it's all to help, I guess, like with the nursing process and making nursing diagnoses. 
and care plans and all of that. So that is my lab binder. I don't have a clinical binder yet. Um, we'll see if I need one. I think this is pretty much my lab and clinical binder. And then I have my ATI binder here, but we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. So, but I haven't put anything in it because I don't know what's going in it. So we just had a break, walking back to lecture. Just finished my nursing process lab. And now we're going to go discuss ATI and exam master. So I'll see you after that. Hi guys, just, this is my outro. I forgot to record one, but thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video leave a comment, share, and above all, subscribe. Thank you so much for following my journey as my first week as a nursing student. See you later. Bye.